Hey guys, wanted to do kind of a follow-up video to my uh, other bare spots in the lawn video that I did almost a year ago. Wanted to give kind of an update on what the lawn looks like now and how much filling we've had over the last year. Uh, just to give a little background, my lawn looked absolutely horrible a couple of years ago. Actually, it was the spring of last year. It looked, it looked terrible. And that was mainly from using too much pre-emergent. I had a horrible weed issue back here, or multiple weed issues that I tried to attack with a lot of pre-emergent, like applying it every three months or so, just throughout the year. And I found out the hard way that Centipede did not like that at all. And as a result, not only did it cause a bunch of bare spots in my lawn, but it prevented anything from filling in because of that chemical barrier that's placed down there on the soil line. It prevents the stolons that are in the Centipede grass to tack down and spread. So. The main thing I would tell you, especially if you had centipede grass and you want stuff to fill in naturally, is no pre-emergence. Uh, you won't have a chemical barrier down there and the grass will be able to spread and tack down into the soil and just keep doing so, you know, multiply its uh, effectiveness that way. And the second main thing I've found is just to mow consistently. Mow and what I mean by that, I'm not mowing out here like every seven to 10 days. I'm mowing like every four days and I'm keeping it at one and a half inches, which is centipede's preferable height. Uh, anywhere from one to two inches is the preferred height of centipede with one and a half I found as being the absolute best height. Um, and keeping that consistency of the mowing, you're only cutting off, you know, a little bit and it just keeps the grass in a healthy state. And so it's more prone to spread that way when it's healthy and happy and it's not stressed out. If you, if you cut off half the blade at once, it's going to kind of stress it out a little bit and it won't be as uh, aggressive as it could be. And centipede is, is kind of have a reputation of being kind of a slow grower, but I've found, I mean, I really do have to mow every four days because it's growing so fast and it, I really find it to be kind of aggressive back here. So those are the two main things I would suggest is no pre-emergence and mow consistently like every four or five days if you can i know it's a lot of mowing and believe me i've been there have been times where i'm like man i gotta mow again <laughs> but it can be a lot but it's worth it when you see the results and i'm gonna take you guys on a little tour of the yard and just kind of show you what it looks like now versus what it looked like in uh, last year it's kind of mind-blowing how horrible the lawn looked last year and how much spreading and like good results I've had over just the last year or so. Um, so take a look and I hope you guys find this useful and as interesting as I do. Okay guys, so as you can see here, I just wanted to give you kind of a tour of the yard uh, and you can compare the photos that I've got from last year. I don't have any video really, but the photos from last year versus this year. So this area right here, this was a huge bare spot and it went all the way this way. It was kind of a, a foot, probably a foot wide, like a strip that went this way. It was just totally bare soil. And uh, all this is filled in just amazingly well. And as you can tell, there's just a tiny little area right here that hasn't filled in yet. But look at that. I mean, it's, it's, it's right there. It's, it's only got, that'll probably fill in by the end of the uh, season, probably if today's September 2nd, I probably have another good month of growth here in Alabama. So this is the biggest bare spot I have left. So this thing was huge last year. Um, and it has filled in drastically and it's still got a little bit ways to go. But look at these runners right here that are in there. They don't have any pre-emergent barrier blocking them from uh, attacking down. And yeah, I do have a couple of weeds in here like that. I try to hand pull. I don't want to hit that with chemicals and just like deter any of this grass from spreading. So uh, I'll probably just hand pull that, but this is going to fill in a little bit more by the end of the season, probably another month of growth. But next year, this is going to fill in totally. And uh, by then, I'll finally have uh, all this area of the lawn totally filled in and all I got to do is just make sure I mow it, keep mowing consistently and uh, treating it the right way. Now this area over here used to be a giant 
bare spot that would come out kind of draw the picture right there is it came out like right there it was a huge like mud area and yeah I do have some weeds in this area but the grass is spreading like crazy this area right here it used to come out to like right in here just mud and this is all filled in and pointed this way because it gets a good amount of sunshine and uh, it's slowly but surely spreading and it's gonna fill these areas in and and like I said I'm not gonna hit it with chemicals I'm just kind of letting nature take over but this area right in here I'm just thrilled with that all this is filled in because it looked absolutely horrible last year and the biggest reason for that is the pre-emergence so I want y'all to be aware of that just be cautious with your pre-emergent but I went crazy with it a couple years ago and paid the price for it I kind of overdosed the lawn I think with pre-emergent and as a result it it really did a lot of damage out here and um, now that I kind of know how to take care of centipede grass it's just really filled in amazingly well and this area right here will hopefully be totally filled in by October in another month or so uh, so just do those things that I mentioned mowing properly and you know make sure it gets the right amount of water and you'll be good to go you won't even have to use any seed all right guys now we got some good sunshine here I wanted to show you this particular area right in here that I have been totally shocked by this year actually um, this this is kind of a slope I don't know if the camera can pick that up or not but it's a pretty uh, pretty good slope right here that the soil has been like completely just rocks if I'm gonna show you a close-up here um, you can see all the rocks that are in this soil I mean look at all these pebbles and stuff the, the soil is like this all over the place um, so I've been kind of amazed at what this particular area looks like now versus what it looked like last year this whole area I'm gonna show up a picture I can do that right now if I have a good picture of this area this area right in here I'm, I'm amazed at how lush that is right there um, all this right in here um, just looks great I mean I can't believe it honestly this is really good centipede right here um, and it's just it just keeps spreading you know it's kind of wild if I brush back these uh, kind of uh, areas right here that have the the mulch and the pine straw and all that junk the grass just keeps growing inward you know and this used to be 75% dirt and just rocks and uh, when I was using those pre-emergents and um, still not totally filled in but just an amazing progress I'm just kind of a, a shocked by it guys thanks for watching centipede central long care be sure to watch more videos have a good day like and subscribe and bye